Hi, my name is Council Rucha and I'm the leader of Oldham Council. You'll have seen today that we published our budget plans um, for next year. And while setting a budget is never easy, it's felt like even more of a challenge this year as demand for vital services such as keeping our children safe or caring for the elderly has risen because people have required more help and more support due to the pandemic. This rising cost must also factor in more than a decade of funding cuts from central government to local government. The government decides how much we must increase our council tax by and it decides other funding based on the assumption that we will bring in the maximum amount of council tax. If we don't bring in the maximum amount of council tax, it means that we really struggle to fund other essential services that are so important and matter so much to local people. The council tax will increase by 3.99% in total this year. That's 88 pence um, per week for an average household. That includes the 2% increase that the government referred to as the adult social care precept, which is to pay for the rising cost of delivering care for our elderly and other vulnerable adults. We're also proposing the 1.99% to pay for the rising cost of delivering essential services such as youth services, waste collection and keeping um, our streets clean. But in raising council tax, it's really important that we improve the lives of the people that live here. That's why we're going to put more money into the pockets of thousands of our lowest paid workers, including more than 4,300 care workers who stepped up and looked after and provided the essential care for our loved ones during the pandemic. We're proposing to introduce the Foundation Living Wage, which means that anyone who provides a service that's paid for the, by the council, whether you work with us directly or not, you'll get 40 pence um, per hour more than the government's minimum wage. And that's to anyone. This will benefit mainly um, those people that work in Oldham's care sector, but it'll also help us attract the best care workers here in Oldham. It'll also provide um, an essential benefit to the wider borough over the longer term by supporting the essential delivery of our local services and helping boost our economy. But fundamentally, this is about valuing the people that carried the hugest burden during the pandemic and making sure that they're able to pay their bills, pay their rent, pay for food and pay for other essentials. It cannot be right and it's not acceptable that people are not paid the real living wage. As part of our proposals, we're also making sure that we're protecting our vulnerable adults and children, including paying £100,000 to Madlow, Oldham's youth zone, and also further funding for essential youth activities elsewhere across the borough. You've told us to get our basics right. That's why we're going to continue to fund the Don't Trash Oldham campaign and make sure our streets are clean so that we can instill civic pride amongst all of us. Our budget reflects everything that you told us through the Big Oldham conversation or on the doorstep. And that's why we're making sure that we protect our essential services and pay fairer. I hope you can support me with this budget. Thank you.